Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we are going to create this little demo application here that allows us to send postcards, Polaroid kind of postcards, with a nice animation. So if I hit the send button here, then we shrink the image and the Polaroid kind of disappears with a nice animation. But the special thing about that is that we do not create the animation really in iOS or using Swift code, but we're using again the Lottie framework using an After Effects animation. And this is the After Effects animation, which we are going to create in a second. But let me just quickly show you what it does. So we are shrinking this image here, this placeholder, and then we are also shrinking the whole frame. And what's special now about that is that we have this yellow area here which represents the image. And in iOS, we have a real image here that performs the same animation. So we are really replacing this placeholder here with the real image view in iOS later. So this is what we are going to do today and we are going to use After Effects now to build that animation. I'm going to show you how this works. So um, I will just do that in my project here that I have opened but you can create a new project and in that project we create a new composition by clicking with the right mouse button here in our project hitting new composition just calling this card and I have a size of 365 by 420 pixels. I hit OK and we have our animation area. Then what we need is our background frame, the white area. So I'm clicking with my right mouse button again here, creating a new solid, and I'm going to make that white. Okay, and let's just call that background, background. Hit OK, and it's okay to, that this solid has the same size as the whole composition, and then we create a, again, a new solid layer, which is going to get a slightly different color. Let's choose maybe something a little orange again or yellow and hit OK. And now what we also want to do here is name this placeholder or something else that we can remember. Because for using this animation together with Lottie, it is important that we know the layer name that we actually want to use to place our image view into. So I'm calling that placeholder, hitting OK now. And what we need to do now is resizing this placeholder a little, let's say just like this in height, moving it up a little, pressing Shift on a keyboard and up arrow key just like this, and then also reducing the width a little, and then this already looks like kind of a Polaroid photo. And that one, what I also need to do is mask this solid here. So I'm hitting layer, mask, and new mask. And this is what we are actually going to animate here. So if I now press the M key on my keyboard, I can access the mask here in my placeholder layer, and we actually want to move the mask path around. So I am pressing on the keyframe button here, pressing Command T on the keyboard to transform my mask. And then I'm pressing Shift on my keyboard and move the whole thing up until it leaves the screen. Or actually, I should do that on a later keyframe, of course. So otherwise, it won't animate. So let's say about less than one second. And then I'm moving that up, generating another keyframe and this should do and then we already have this nice animation here moving our photo or our placeholder up a little and then what we need to do is shrink the background and therefore I'm moving my time indicator here after my last keyframe somewhere here and press S on the keyboard with the background layer selected so that we can change the scale. And now I'm creating a new keyframe right here. And I'm also make sure that we do not constrain the proportions here so that we can change the width and height independently. And then I'm going to about less than two seconds and I'm shrinking it in width about this size, let's say 1% here. And then I'm setting another keyframe just short after that. So I'm clicking on the keyframe button. And then a little more than two seconds, maybe I'm also shrinking the height. And we have completed our animation 
that is really simple but also really cool. And then we can zoom in here a little and make sure that we have a smooth animation here. So I'm selecting those two keyframes that we use to uh, transform the mask and I right click it and using the keyframe assistant, which you can see at the moment, I believe, uh, but it's the last menu item here. And then I'm using Easy Ease, which gives you these icons here for the keyframe. And this makes the whole animation a lot smoother. And let's also do that for all of the keyframes here. So again, I'm selecting all of them, all of those keyframes here, right click keyframe assistant and easy ease or you can also press F9 on your keyboard and then we have this nice animation here which looks like this and with that done we can actually export this whole animation to a JSON file. So what I need to do for that is selecting window extensions and then using the body move and the plugin and if you haven't downloaded this plugin yet then have a look at my first video about Lottie it's linked in the video description below but now I am selecting my card composition that we have created and make sure that all other compositions are not selected and I'm choosing a destination folder which is my desktop and I'm simply calling that maybe card animation animation 2 because I've already created one my card animations and then I hit the render button and we are pretty much done in After Effects and we can now move on to Xcode and I'm creating a new single view application which I'm going to call card animation hit next and create that on my desktop and we're going to need a few files here first of all I have already used Carthage to create a Lottie framework which I can simply import to my project and if you don't know how to use Carthage I've also created a video on that a while back so it's also linked in the video description below and all I need to do here is drag that to my embedded binaries here and hit the finish button and with that we have imported a lot to our application and what we also need is two images so I have uh, image one and two right here these are the two images that we're going to use and I'm opening up my assets folder and dragging that to my project here I'm going to move them to 2x which is all right I'm not going to supply our app with 3x version but for a production app you could obviously do that and the last thing that we need is the card animation that we have created with After Effects and I'm just going to import that into my project somewhere around here make sure that you activate copy items if needed and that we add it to our target our application card animation and as you can see, this is really just a JSON file that we're going to use in a second. But let's just quickly set up the user interface. I am bringing up main storyboard. We're going to have two buttons, one button here, and we are removing the button title and just set the image to IMG1, setting the size to, let's say, 150 by 150, and let's bring it to x0 so that we can see it and I'm just positioning it somewhere around here copy and paste it right corner here changing the image to image 2 maybe change the background color here to a nice blue adding another button here for send postcard I I'm positioning that somewhere down just at the, at to, at, on the top of these two image buttons. Also changing the color, let's say to black. And also maybe giving this a bold font here and repositioning it slightly. So with that, we have our user interface ready. We're not going to add auto layout constraints or anything. Now we're just going to want to see how this works together with Lottie. So we have the Lottie framework in our project. That means that I can import it in my view controller. So I hit import Lottie. And then when we build our application, this should already work and I could also increase the size 
of my Xcode window. A little sorry about that. And now with Lottie imported to our view controller class, we can create a property for our animation view that we are going to use, which is a LOT, a Lottie animation view, which we are going to make optional. And to begin with and to see if everything works out, we are going to add our animation view right here in view.load. So all we need to do is using the animation view and initialize it with LOT animation view. And there is an initializer which just allows us to specify the name of our animation, which is card animation in our case, which is just the file name without the extension of our JSON file. So with that, we have already created the animation view and now we can position it. I'm just using the animation view and set a center to self that view dot center and then slightly moving it up by using the animation view, its frame, its origin and its Y position and just subtracting a hundred pixels just to get an optimal position for that. And now we can use self dot view add sub view and add our animation view to have a first quick look at our project. And we need to unwrap our animation view first, but then we can run it in the simulator and see if we get what we already created in After Effects a few seconds ago. So here's the simulator. And as you can see, we have our card or the postcard with our placeholder. We have the button and um, also our image button. So let's move on. And the important thing now is that we need a way to replace the yellow area here with an image view containing one of our two images. So we're creating a new function for that, which I'm going to call add animation view. And we add some parameters here with image view, image view, which is of type UI image view. And then we can use our code that we have already written in view to load, cut that right here and paste it in our new function here. And let's also make sure to make this image view optional so that we can either create an empty animation view with our placeholder or an animation view that contains an image. And now how can we actually add an image? It's really simple, really. We check first of all, if we have an image view available. So we have if let new image equals image view to check if we have an image view here in our parameter. And then the magic happens using our animation view adding a sub view with a special function called add sub view to layer named. And here comes into play the name of the layer we provided in After Effects, which is placeholder. So this is important. You need to know the name of this layer you actually want to replace. And here I'm simply adding new image to layer named placeholder. And that's all the magic in one line of code. That's so cool. And the thing is that we need this function to actually remove our animation view and add it again if we change the layer or change the content of our layer placeholder. Otherwise, you won't see any changes before we actually add this image to our layer or we position our um, Lottie animation view, we should check if there is already an animation view in place. So if animation view is not equal to nil, and this is also why we have created it as an optional so that we can actually check if it's there or not. And if it is there, what we need to do is use the animation view and we can leave the self out here and remove it from super view. And we can also use the animation view and set it to nil so that we can reinitialize it and give it a new center and new position and also add a new image view to our layer named placeholder. And then afterwards, we simply add this again to our view. And now there are two things missing. First of all, a function that lets us um, send these images to our Lottie animation view. And therefore, I'm creating a new IB action. I'm opening the assistant editor here. 
scrolling down a little, and then I'm pressing control on my keyboard and dragging to my view controller class, and I'm using an action as connection time, and I'm going to call that choose image, and the sender is of type UI button. Hit connect, and then what we do here, and I just keep the assistant editor open for a second, is to determine the image by looking at the tags of our buttons. So I'm selecting my button here, and as you can see, they have a tag property, which is zero for this one, and it's also zero for our second button, but I'm changing that to one. So using the tag property, we can now decide which button was pressed, and I'm creating a new image view object here, my choose image function, initialize it with an empty UI image view, and then if the sender from the parameter list here, which is our, one of our buttons, and its tag property is equal to zero, I'm using that image view and setting its image property to UI image named IMG1, which is this image, and in any other case, which is just one, when we have a tag of one, <laughs> then we set the image to UI image named IMG2. And with that, we have actually decided which of these images should be sent to our card animation view. And I'm now calling the add animation view with image view. I'm simply passing along the image view that we have just created. And now what is missing is to also connect this second button with my function, which I can simply do by hitting control on the keyboard again and drag to this function. And that's it. So this was one button. The next button is the send postcard. And I'm going to place that right below our choose image. I'm going to change the connection tag to action and play animation. It's going to be the name, the type doesn't matter here if we have any or UI button because all we really want to do is use our animation view and play it. But first of all, we check if it's nil. If the animation view is not equal to nil, then we can actually just play it without a completion handler. And now let's give this a try in the simulator and see if that works. So here we are in the simulator, we do not see a card view yet, but if I press on one of those buttons, we have our card view. And now if I hit send and we see an animation, everything worked out just nicely. And indeed we do. Just the animation we created in After Effects. Let's do it with the noodles as well. So here we have the animation and that's so cool because you can really create awesome animations here in After Effects. Um, you are just actually limited by the power of your imagination. And if you need some inspirations, then head over to lottiefiles.com. It showcases a lot of nice animations created with After Effects. Somehow, some of these animations do have an After, uh, After Effects project included. Some are just the um, body move and JSON files, but uh, you can see the possibilities and imagine using the technique I just showed you with these hearts, adding something, some content from your user interface that is not limited, of course, to image view. You can add any UI view to a animation view and replacing a layer. And what's also cool is that you can just drag and drop any JSON file from Body Movement to this website and see the animation, also the animation that we just created. So again, with this technique I just showed you, um, adding a sub view to a layer named, it's possible to add any kind of UI view to a Lottie layer, if you know, of course, the layer name. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you can use that in some of your projects. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.